Hi guys, this is a video on how I make my videos. Um, this is a slightly different from my other one because I'm actually talking about rules that I follow when I make my videos. I do all this automatically but I've written them down for the sake of helping other users who are considering making videos, um, people who have made videos but they've not been well received, um, or just people who haven't even thought about making videos because I strongly recommend anybody, every single one of you, you are capable of making the video a video on YouTube as long as you've got the equipment. Um, and there are several benefits which I shall explain at the end. Okay, so um, this is more this is more aimed towards tutorials but it can be used for any video at all. Okay, so before you even start the video, find something you love or know lots about. So um, if you want to talk about a specific topic that you know lots about and you want to share it with people, you want to teach people, you want to um, show a better way of doing something, um, it's well worth making a video about. And uh, if you're really passionate about that, it will come across in the video and then you'll have people that will look up to you and respect you for making the videos. Um, there's no point making videos on something you're not interested in, so um, if I was to make uh, something about um, apples, just make a random video about apples, I'm not interested in apples, Is in the fruit, not the computer, I'm not interested in apples, and it will come across in my video, if I just say this is an apple, um, it comes in different flavours, so it would come across as, you've got to find something you're really passionate about, uh, for me it's computers, and I'm sure it's for you guys as well, because you're all subscribed to me, and you're all watching my videos. Um, look at other people's videos. Um, I've made a video previously called Gurus Like Me. Now that was there for quite a few reasons. Um, one was to show people that there are other people like me and another one was to, um, for this video, for people to go back to that other video, I'll link it in the description, and go through all the um, people who are making videos on tutorials and various things and see how they're making them so then you can think about how you make them yourself. Um, research things if needed. If you are passionate about a subject but you're not that knowledgeable about it, hit Google, hit websites, hit as much as you can so you can cram as much information in that video. You'll notice that I'm saying so much information in this video because I've got it all written down. Um, it's uh, just to portray to people and show people that I know what I'm talking about. Um, in this case it's making videos because I do, I've made 300 so um, that's that. <laughs> um, also make sure you have a good understanding. If you pause halfway through your video, if you say um, yes so this is a program it's really good and it and it, um, um, it kind of um, does kind of takes pictures sort of thing like yeah, so it's going to sound bad if you if you don't have if you don't understand what you're talking about, and also um, if you portray false information, you'll find that people will not be happy, um, even if it's by one sentence. I actually did this. I um, in a previous video I talked about a subject, and I said one sentence that was wrong, and it got picked up, and people just hated it, and um, I got a lot of negative comments for that. But that is the those are the things you could you should consider before you start. Okay, next making the video so you know what you want to talk about now you want to make the video okay firstly make people aware of what the video is about now you'll notice I do this on all of my videos when I start my videos I say hi guys this is a video on and then I say the subject I do that for a reason it's just to let people know um, if people don't bother to read the description or if the description is misleading I just say it in the video so they know what I'm on about Use a screen recorder or webcam capture utility. Um, I'm actually using a webcam capture now on my desktop and I'm hoping this works out okay and it's all in sync. If it doesn't then I'll probably cry because this is going to be quite a long video. Um, using a screen recorder is what I use in most of my videos. As you can probably see it shows all different parts. And uh, I've shown my settings in a previous video and I'll link that in the description. Provide as much information as possible without going off topic. So you sort of can say all about, I don't know, C++ programming, but if you were to say in your video, um, oh yeah, and I made a program the other day, and it did this, and it was really good, and I really liked it, that's going, that's going off topic. Um, now, it's okay to slightly go off topic, but if you end up going completely off topic, it's going to annoy people. Um, 
it's best to just keep to what you want to talk about um, instead of going off topic, uh, if that makes sense. Um, next, um, avoid using a text editor. Oh, this has got to be the, the best um, piece of advice ever. When I see a tutorial on YouTube and I see someone typing out in a text editor such as Notepad, I cry. It's just, it, it's, you just want to cringe because you're sitting there waiting for someone to type out something that they could have said in about two seconds. So, um, when, like me saying, hi, this is a video on blah blah, you wait for someone to go H I T H I S. It's just so, ugh, it's irritating to say the least. Um, avoid using music. Now, this is a fail as well because um, you're, it's, you, when you use music, you're breaking copyright anyway because you haven't got. The um, unless you obviously have permission from the person who you got the music from, um, it's it just it's it's not good because um, usually they're both used together because then people can't see what you're doing because you're writing in a text editor and you've got music in the background. That's really really distracting, uh, almost as distracting as my hand movement. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, speak clearly throughout. Now people have asked me what my microphone is. This is my microphone. It's crap. It came with my webcam, but I use it and I make sure that the volume is fairly good. I play um, voice recording back to myself so I can hear myself talk. Now also, when I do my videos, you can hear that I speak clearly. Um, I try and emphasize what I say and also slow down sometimes because some people say I talk a little bit too fast. And um, what I try to say, um, also you'll probably notice that when I make my videos, my voice goes a bit high, and then a bit low, and then a bit high, and then a bit low. It just makes the video a bit more flowy and dynamic. If you were to just sort of go to a video going, this is a video on programming, and I really like this. It's just going to bore people in the first 10 seconds. Um, it's best to kind of make it um, as exciting as possible, if you can, um, with, a vo with your voice. Um, and that's what I try to do. I try and make my voice. I'm actually like talking louder than I normally would, um, but I just try and make it a bit more dynamic. Uh, position the microphone away from your mouth. This is a big one because a lot of people get irritated with people who talk like this because <laughs> that happens. Um, when you say p um, to the microphone, you'll find that it. Hurt, it will hurt people's ears because some people listen to YouTube videos with headphones and when you're saying put into a microphone and you're spitting all over the microphone it actually creates that sound effect which nobody likes. Um, make use of the video annotations but not too much. I've only done this a couple of times previously. It's a feature on YouTube called video annotations. You've probably seen it if you watch YouTube a lot and um, it's just notes. People write notes uh, for people who don't bother to read the more info, um, but obviously I use it sometimes to correct myself if I say something wrong, but if um, you overuse it and you say here's where you download it from and this is what you do, you might as well um, not even bother to make the video because you've done it all in text, you might as well have just written a website. Um, so obviously don't overuse the annotations but use them if you really need to. Um, use notes and scripts if you need to. So you'll notice that right now I'm looking at my screen, I'm also looking at my um, preview to make sure it's not lagging too much. But I've actually got notes up here so I'm reading to you, um, I'm elaborating on my points that I make instead of, I'm not actually reading off the screen, I'm just elaborating on the points that I've written. Um, it's, a, it's good to do that, if you have a piece of paper or something, um, if you have a lot of information it's good to read through that and talk about it, especially if you have a screen recorder because people don't see you. But what I tend to do, because mine's, um, I try and make mine as live as possible, um, I don't bother to do that, I just screen record and talk, and if I make a mistake, it's the annotations that will take over for me. Um, okay, so if you're with me so far, we've got uh, making the video. So you're making the video, and you're ready to upload it. You've followed those rules, and you're ready to upload it. Okay, uploading the video. Choose an appropriate title. Now this um, is important if you want to attract people to your videos. Um, if you make an attractive title, I don't know, um, one of my titles I made was 20, uh, 20 programs that will save you enough money to buy a MacBook Air. That was strategically titled because that was released, that video that I made was around the time that MacBook Air was really popular. So I knew that people were going to say um, or people were going to search for MacBook Air. So I actually worked that video around it. 
and I knew that people would come to that video and therefore subscribe. So it's, it's better to also put a nice little descriptive title than just have one thing. Like for example, um, how to paint a tree in Microsoft Paint instead of writing paint. Because you know people, are not, they're not going to know what the video is because you've just written paint. So yeah, that's one of the um, things to consider. Check for spellings. Um, now I noticed this in one of Laker Coolman's videos. He actually made a spelling mistake or a couple of spelling mi mistakes in his title and didn't realise, left it on for a couple of hours and people actually rated his video down because his spellings w were not correct. So make sure you run it through a spell check if you need to. Um, I don't know, keep to simple words. Um, but yeah, um, put all information such as links into the description. Um, I've done this on most of my videos, but there are a couple that I've missed it out, and people have said to me, um, put the links in your description. I, I just think to myself, oh, I can't believe I forgot, because normally I do it, and then I'm getting told off by, by people commenting saying to do it in various videos. It's useful if you're showing various services on the web, or if you're showing a program and you want to show people how to download it. Uh, choose appropriate tags. Um, now this helps um, if you want people to look at your videos again. But you can then start writing related tags, but nothing too off topic. So for this video, I could say uh, videos, tutorials, um, reviews, uh, producing, making, or something like that. Um, it's not actually a tutorial. Well, I suppose it is in a way, but it's not actually a tutorial. It's not actually a review, but it's to do with it. So you're using those tags to get your video more views. Um, and that's pretty much it when uploading the video. That's what you've got to consider when you're uploading to YouTube and you see all those features. Okay, attracting users to your videos. So you've made the video, you've uploaded it, and you've got one or two views. Okay, make responses to other users. Either this could be your opinion or something you've found this um, related. So for example, if, with this video, you can use this video if you want. If you want to make your first video ever, respond to this video and say, um, uh, I don't know, hey Duncan, I'm making my first video, I've followed a couple of your guidelines, this is how it's turned out, what do you think? And then I'll give you a comment. And that means I've viewed your video and other people will see, as they've seen this video, they'll see the video response and they'll come on your video as well. So that will give you more views. So you could always, um, I don't know, as I make videos, make a reply to them every time. You can do it every time if you want, I don't mind. Make a response every time. I'd enjoy that because I enjoy people making response to my videos because I love watching them. So, um, anyway, <laughs> ask users to rate, comment, subscribe. That's what I do at one of my videos. I say, um, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks for watching or whatever. Um, that helps um, p people then know, they think, oh, all right, okay, um, he needs a rating, okay, I'll rate him. Uh, a comment, what, what should I say, and then you say something, and then you think to yourself, Sub the subscribers are the most important, really. Um, comments and the rates are what gives you the honours um, in YouTube, and that's what gets you more views. But the subscribers are most important because they are telling you that your videos are good because they want to see your next video. So subscribers are important, and that's why you'll see videos on YouTube of people saying, um, I'm really happy I've got 500 subscribers and all that, because I'm again, I'm happy for all of my subscribers. I love you. Um, anyway, yes, so I've said subscribers are important. They are the most important thing on YouTube, and that's what gives you the drive to make more videos. Watching that little counter go up is great. Love it. Use social networking or word of mouth. Tell your friends that you've made a video on something, or um, go on something like Facebook, Twitter, and say, I've made a video, or... Um, or the actual subject that you made your video and then link to it and then people will go onto it and it's one view is better than no views isn't it so that's well worth doing now um, I've suggested this before ping.fm uh, if you subscri um, subscribe if you go onto loads of different sites um, you can then put your information for those sites such as Twitter Facebook and all that and then you can post on all of them so then you can link to your video and it will go on all of those different accounts and it will, it will be available all over the web and that also makes your video linkable by Google and things like that and then Google will crawl you excuse me upload more content if you just make one video uh, and you get a few views lucky you but if you keep making videos and try and keep to these rules that I'm saying or if you try and keep to the style that you want to do then it will definitely benefit and you'll get more viewers the more content you upload and then the more subscribers you get and then you'll just get a big base of people that enjoy your videos 
Um, don't worry if people are viewing your channel and not subscribing because if they're not interested then why have them as a subscriber? Why have them comment on your video? It's just better for them to move on and then you can attract people who are interested in what you've got to say. That's really really good. Okay, comments. Uh, ignore the spam, off topic, unnecessary, negative comments. Um, now this is important, I actually made this mistake on one of my videos. Um, I actually uploaded a video, um, I've, I've done it twice, but one was uh, specifically not good because I uploaded a video saying about um, a guy who'd written a negative comment on my videos, but because I had so many people watch that, it got really popular on YouTube, it got to like, I don't know, for the United Kingdom it got to like the, the second most watched and the second most rated, highest rated even. Um, it was a little bit concerning because a lot of people were watching that and then heading over to that guy's channel and sending proper abuse messages and comments. Um, I don't, I, I'm not sure if I, I didn't really intend to, intend to do that in the first place, but it just ended up happening. The main intention of the video was to show that people like that exist and even target me and all I'm trying to do is help people. Um, but it turned out to just be a hate video and I stooped as low as the guy who wrote the comment and I really do, um, I really shouldn't have made that, but hey. Um, negative comments still count as a comment, so um, instead of removing the comments, leave them and block the person. Uh, you can block people so they can stop posting on your channel. Um, it still counts as a comment and it goes into the most discussed honours. So the more comments you get, even if they are negative, you'll still get the views because um, they're being commented by people and it's pushing them up the list. Um, these comments are indexed by Google. That's an important one because with Google, um, I'll talk about that in the rewards, um, but that means that Google can then find those from people. If someone says on your video, you talk about VirtualBox, and they also say, well, you can do this in VMware, VMware server is free, you can use that. People searching VirtualBox, VMware server free, all in one search or something, may come across your video. So let's move on to the rewards. Um, I'm sorry if you guys have fallen asleep already. You deserve a pat on the back if you have um, kept awake. So, um, uh, rewards. Now this is the best part of YouTube. Having people that follow you is great. So, high ranks in Google searches. Um, making a video on something that you're passionate about and you want to get a point across, um, you can get searched by YouTube. So, for example, my video I did on Windows Live Messenger alternatives. If you type that into Google, my video is the first one that comes up. It's great, I love it, because that, that means that people will get more attracted to that video because it's on Google. And because YouTube is such a highly ranked site, it goes straight to the top. So it's better than writing any post on any blog site or on a website because it's in video format and it's right at the top of the searches because YouTube is one of the most popular sites on the web. Um, appreciation videos, now I've had quite a few of these and it's, it's, so, it's such a good feeling knowing that people enjoy watching your videos. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I can't get enough of it and anyone who makes an appreciation video, I comment on theirs and I rate them. I, I just, they really do deserve the, um, the rates and the comments that I make and obviously um, you get a good feeling out of it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You get a good feeling. Um, people love your videos. That makes you want to make more. Simple as that. Uh, positive comments work in the same way. If someone says thanks in your video, you know that they've gained something from watching your videos. So then you get that feeling of knowing that someone's benefited from what you've said. And again, that makes you want to make more videos. Um, that's, yeah, knowing other people, what other users are benefiting from. So that knowing that other people have, uh, has that knowledge um, from what you've said, people will then apply it. So um, if I just give a random example, I did a video on replacing the uh, start menu with the dock. And uh, I noticed on a screenshot that someone left on JCXP, which was the site I recommended before, um, they actually had the dock replacing the taskbar, and I knew that that was one of mine because it shoe um, most of the stuff that I shoe in my video. And it's great to know that people are applying what I'm saying, and it's not just going to waste. And um, people are enjoying it as well. Learning more from other users. Um, if people leave comments on your video that are, um, they can criticise you. So they say you're speaking too quickly. I can't understand you. That is. That can be used as a positive comment because then you can think to yourself, right, I'm speaking too quickly, can I improve this for a future video? And it's not just about that as well, it can be about the topic you're talking about. So for example, you talk about Linux and its history and you miss something really important about it that you didn't know. Someone will actually write that in the comment 
and that actually proves as a really useful useful comment. I've had that quite a lot before as well. So um, that's about oh sorry that's about it really. Um, this has just all been done live. Um, it's well worth doing if you can make a response to this video. Um, if you've actually made it this far without s switching off, um, make a response to this video and just if you're just starting out, just say this is my first video, um, and then I can show you, I can tell you any improvements that you need to make if it involves I don't know unblurring your camera or making your voice clearer or anything like that. Um, just make a response to this one or any other of my videos. Uh, just even if it's your opinion of something I've said, do that. It's well worth making a video on. Um, so thanks for watching this video. It's a very very long video. I'm hoping it works and uploads okay. Uh, so thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again. <laughs>